This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas guide. Today I'm going to show you how to build the armored sloop you see behind me and use it to kill ships of the damned. Let's get to it. So you may notice that this is a little bit different than the previous armored sloop and uh, for good reason. This sloop will allow you to kill ships of the damned of pretty much any level. All right, so I'm going to show you step by step on how to build it. Then I'm going to show you how to use it because there's a very specific technique you need to use in order to use it. So we have our basic sloop here with just a plain old normal deck on it and that's it. Nothing else has been done to it. So sloop shell and deck. Once you have that, you're going to take your half wall and you're going to place it like that. Then you're going to take your ceiling, hit Q and drop that down. Okay, now normally what we did previously is we took it like one, two, and then we stopped. This time we're gonna take it all the way across the bottom like that. Then we're gonna grab our wall again, transform it to the half wall, try not to pass the half wall. There you go. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You're, uh, you're getting there. So now we're going to go one foundation back. So you see how we have one foundation right here. We're going to take our wall and we're going to snap it there. Full wall, we're going to make sure it snaps down to the bottom half. Once you've done that, then you're going to take your wall again. You're going to do a sloped wall to the left and to the right and you want that sloping backwards or I should say upside down. So see how that's sloping up? So and then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to transform it and we're going to do that. Okay, so now we have that. We can go ahead and just fill that in right there with a ceiling piece and then we're going to jump over and we're going to fill that in with a ceiling piece too because that's our marker. Once you've done that, you're going to take your wall again. You're going to transform that to a door. You're going to make sure it's snapped to the end there like that and there you go. So at this point, you should have this. You should have a full wall going all the way through and pretty much you're blocking off that whole section there at the back. It's fine. You don't really need it. This is a warship. This isn't for anything else. Okay, now you're going to take your roof pieces again and you're going to do the slope left and right, but you want them to do that. We're making that shape like that, okay? Let me back up here so you can see that. See that? That's what we got going on there. Then you're gonna take your walls again you're going to do the slope left and right and this time you want them sloping down so like that then you hit t and you come over here and you do the same thing on that side so at this point you're looking like this now if we are going to take our roof pieces and we're going to snap them to the bottom part so they're going to snap just like that and you're going to take them all the way through there we're going to keep going so we get to the front. So and then you're gonna stop at this point right here. And then we're gonna make sure we got the back one. We did and we're good to go. So six across the one side and then you're gonna jump over to the other side and you're gonna do the same thing. Six of them across that side. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do this and we're gonna just go right across there like that. Okay, now once you're at this point, you're going to take your uh, slope roof again and you're going to go to this one here, the inner one, and you're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all the way across and we're just going to line those up. So I'm going to try to give counts as best as I can. I know a lot of people just want complete like full total counts. I don't count as I'm going, so um yeah i'll do my best so you can just add my math up as we're going on that's pretty much the best you're going to get because i just build these i don't count as i'm building them and i don't keep track of my parts i've used so then we're going to go like that across here so at this point once we're once we're done here and you don't fall and you actually manage to place your sloped roof pieces so let's try this again snap it through like that and then we'll get this last last one here in the back and you want it to slow to snap there. So at this point, you should have used 24 of the sloped roof pieces. Okay, now we're going to do the armor across the back. And that one for that one, we're going to uh, grab our sloped roof pieces and we're going to do that one there, one there, and then one there. So we're gonna use three there. We're gonna use three on the other side. That's gonna put you at six for there. You're gonna do that. Now we're going to transform that to the uh, triangle roof pieces and you want that to snap inwards like that. 
And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Snap inwards like that. So we've used two more. Now for the back part of this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a ceiling piece. We're gonna snap that right there. We're gonna drop down there and uh, land on that so that we can build this part of the ship out. So now we're going to cover the back part. So take a slope roof piece and you want that to not snap there. You actually want that to snap right there on that bottom like that. Okay. See how that snapped there? It snaps on that bottom wall. Now we're going to take our triangle roof pieces and we're going to grab those and we're just going to do that like that. So that's going to protect from cannonballs like hitting the back of the water here and a little bit of splash damage is going to protect your hull that way. And uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta cover up the booty. You gotta protect the booty because it's gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Okay, now we're gonna come back up here and land on our ceiling again and we're going to outfit the rest of our ship here. So now we can go to the triangle pieces, triangle roof again and we want to get that to snap there and then we're going to bring that all the way in so just do that and then you don't want it to do that you want it to do that see how we covered up the back there and then we're going to do one on each side here so we're going to go triangle roof bam triangle roof bam now you're not going to bring this all the way across because this is where your cannons are going to set and they're going to need to shoot out from the back so you're just giving them a little bit of cover on each side you've done plenty at this point to protect the back of your ship and the back of the planks or the back planks of your ship is what I should be saying there. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to work on the front. Now you have an option here. If you're not worried about weight, you can actually bring this all the way across to the front and then cover it up. I don't really see the need in that because the majority of the damage you're going to be taking is your backside for the most part. So I, I like to heavily armor the back and then leave the front a little light. That's the reason we want for the design that we have here. We can put a plank or a, not a plank, a ceiling there. And then we can build out the uh, bottom here and just give us our normal armor on the front. So we're going to take our triangle roof pieces and we're just going to snap those across the bottom and then we're going to get some more triangle roof pieces and we're going to snap those across the top and then just fill that in like that. So now you should be protected there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here to this wall. We're going to place one, two. We're going to jump up here. We're going to grab our slope roof, transform that to stairs, not half stairs, full stairs, and place that there. You can use a ramp, but I like the stairs because for some reason they give you a little more clearance to get back in here. Uh, I was having issues using the ramp. Like you have to duck to get back in here anyway. And using the ramp, I had to like... I don't know, it was like weird. It just wasn't as smooth. Like you see here, I can just duck and bam, right back in there. It wasn't that smooth with the ramp. So that's why we are using the stairs. And we can go ahead and we can put our other ceiling piece there. And we're going to be using the normal cannon, just this one here, the common ship cannon. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it as close to the side as you can place it. Might want to hop up on the, on the side here a little bit like this. You just want to get it as close close as you possibly can like that and then rotate it just a little bit to line it up like that and then we can do the same thing on this side and we're just going to kind of rotate it to line it up actually that one's back just a little bit and that's gonna bug me rotate it just a tiny bit and uh, yeah that's close enough now this one you're going to line it up in the middle like we have here and then you're just going to step back Till it places it should there you go you can put crew on all this now they will actually mount it you can check it if you can mount it your crew can mount it you may get a little janky get a little stuck but you should be good we should be able to mount that one as well if you get stuck just unmount it and mount the one behind it and it should pop you out now the reason that you can do this is because they're never going to be shooting down like this they're always going to be shooting up and they'll shoot right past those other cannons there Okay, at this point, we're going to place our sail. We're going to place our medium speed sail right there. We're going to place our ship steering wheel 
right there like that and now you can just put your planks on now there's a question I keep seeing a lot about what happens after your armor gets damaged and dealing with planks because the reason that a lot of this works is because we put the planks on last and it stops the collision because for some reason the planks don't collide as you can see here we can place them just fine but if we were to have placed them on first then we would have had collision issues with the roof pieces that we had placed so that's why we placed the planks on last and a lot of people have asked well what happens when you lose one of these roof pieces how do you replace it if you have the collision problem when you lose a roof piece and it is colliding with your planks the only way to fix that after you've released the ship is to have the planks on your hot bar have the roof piece on your hot bar delete the plank place the roof piece and then place the plank back you got a hot minute before your ship goes away or sinks or whatever but you you should have plenty of time and there are some situations where you won't actually have the collision problems like you can place most of these across the front and not have any collision problems but if you do just have the plank piece on your hot bar delete it replace your armor and then put it back you've got a good at least full minute on most of these ships if not more before they actually sink okay so at this point you're pretty much go ready and good to go you're gonna have to level up your ship because the problem is right now uh, you can only hold three people so you're gonna put one on your sails you're one and then you're gonna put one on this center cannon and that's it that's all you're gonna have you need at least two more for those cannons back there so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sail it around getting those levels for those those other two should be super easy for just sailing it around and it's just part of the design that you're, you're gonna have to deal with if you want you should be able to use the technique that I'm showing you with only one cannon active to sink a low level ship of the dam in order to increase your level faster and I'm going to show you how to do that first just in case you want to speed your leveling up and then I'll show you taking on a much higher level one now you want to place your ship chest and your ammo chest I like to place the ammo chest near the back here so we can just crouch down back in here you could you have a good bit of room you can place stuff we can place it right underneath the uh, the bottom here and that's that's cannon that's not what we want so we can place our ammo chest right there like that, fill it full of ammo. Once you got that in your chest, you are good to go. And you're going to need a ship's chest as well. And you can pretty much place that wherever you want. Um, I like to place it right here. You can place it like right next to the sails in here or wherever you want. Doesn't matter your preference down here. And then last but not least, you should have a bed just in case things get a little hairy. And we should be able to place the bed right here if I'm not standing in it. Should be able to get up here, maybe maybe get up here and place the bed there we go so as you can see right there we can place a bed and you're good to go so there you can confirm that your person is on the sails she is on the sails we have our bed we have our ammo crate we have our ship chest to put gold in and repairs for resources now a lot of people were complaining because I didn't show the completed weight so let me uh, release this thing and I'll show you the weight and what it is now before you put resources or anything else in it. All right, here we are. So this is our weight. We are at uh, 1697 out of 3300. So not too bad. I don't recommend carrying. I have a ton of cannonballs in this thing. I have 100. So that's up to you how many you want to carry depending on the ship of the dam your level that you're trying to kill I highly recommend having a lot of cannonballs because it may take you a while I recommend using or keeping less stuff for repairs You could do something like make a normal storage chest So we just do one of the small ones like this here the small storage box and you can place that right here and that's only going to take up eight kilograms and then you can just put a couple of the planks in there just in case anything gets crazy so you're looking at like 36 weight just four just to be on the safe side 48 weight with those four planks as opposed to carrying a ton of extra stuff in this inventory you know i would do a little bit for just minor repairs but your best bet would be to dock somewhere gather the resources you need because you don't need any metal you just need fiber thatch and wood which is simple to repair all of this stuff dock after a battle repair everything up go out to another battle but that's completely up to you how you want to do that how you want to manage your weight just giving you some ideas okay so we're going to take this thing out oh one other thing that's very 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 important to have 
is the perks to increase your sailing speed. So let's go over here to the sails and I think that is in Captain Nearing and it should be, yeah, the talented crew. You want to max that out. So you're going to need uh, one point for level one, two points for level two, and then the eight points for level three. This is going to allow you to raise and lower your speed sail like this. Look at this. Watch, watch me manage the speed sail. Okay, see that first one drop? Now watch the bottom one. See how quickly I can move that up and down? You're going to need to constantly adjust your speed in order to kite properly. So I highly recommend getting this. This is going to allow you to adjust your speed so much better than if you don't have that. Okay, for this to work and for it to be the most effective, you want a straight on path towards the ship you were planning on killing. Now, I have level up because I have experience increase going on on this server, but uh, we're gonna pretend I don't and I'm still going to kill uh, one of these, so I'm sorry that that's across the top of the screen. This is something you're gonna have to deal with temporarily. So. You want the wind. You don't want to try to sail against the wind. You want to sail with the wind. You want as much of it as possible. So we're just going to go over this way. We're going to max out our sails. And we're going to see if we can hunt down a ship of the dam. I, uh, I know that there's one over here somewhere that's low level. That's why we're going this way. And uh, looks like right there it is. Otherwise, I would be going straight with the wind. But you should be fine like this. You just don't want to move too slow and you want as much of the wind as you can get. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sail at it. Just sail at it like you're going to ram it and be ready because you're going to need to turn relatively quickly. If you can, you want to sail parallel to it and get its attention. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get pretty close to it and we're going to go ahead and mark it like, like I just did there. So you're going to right click, hold right click down and just mark it. Now when we get within range and it gets behind us, my NPC should just start auto firing. So we're going to, I don't want to turn too much more. I'm just going to hold out here and see if I can sail past and I'm actually going to turn back into the wind a little bit and then we're going to get close to it. I think. Okay, we got its health bar now, so I think we have its attention. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn. Now we're going to run into another one, so this could could get a little hairy here. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to see if I can turn sharp and kite it away from the other one. And if you take a little bit of damage, don't worry, you're fine. You're built to take the damage. It's not going to hurt you to take a couple of hits. So now what we want to do is we want to look behind us. Now you're going to have to check in front of you because every now and then you, you may be sailing into another ship at the dam, but you want to look behind you and you want to just adjust your speed and see where those cannonballs are, are falling. So they're just a little too close. So I'm going to kick my speed back up. Oh, we got a level three now that wants to play. We're going to continue to kite this one. And we're going to continue to shoot at this one. And it looks like I need to turn just a little bit here line the cannon up a little more make sure that we're still shooting I might be getting too far away so I'm going to lower my speed and let them shoot at it some more okay do we got its attention I think we still have its attention and now we're just going to adjust our speed so we can just stay right in front of where those cannonballs are firing and this is it. This tactic works on the ship no matter the level. The cannon, the extra cannons are just to take down ships faster, especially if they're higher level. And you can just keep going. Okay, so we took a little bit of hit there at the back, so we're going to need to speed it up just a little bit. So I'm going to kick it in full gear here. Okay, now they're falling behind us, so I'm just going to slow down and just kind of... Uh, I like to bounce the sails. I notice that it's harder for it to hit if you're just speeding up and slowing down. You can see we have full wind right now. We want to make sure that we're keeping it in range. See, the thing is, is the way the reason this works is because we're moving out of the range of the cannonballs and it's moving into the range of ours. So it's basically driving into our cannonballs while we're moving away from it. And then we can just keep doing this. Check in front of us, make sure we're not running into anything crazy. Cannonballs are getting a little too close. I'm going to speed up. Max speed. And then just be patient. If we're just patient, eventually 
we will kill this thing. We're almost there. We almost got it. This should, if you're, if you're on normal, oh, we got a, we got a scary one there. If you're uh, playing normal and you're on officials or whatever, uh, this may get you enough experience for the levels that you need. It may not. You may have to do this a couple times, but finding these low level ones is not too difficult. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can just finish this guy off before we get the aggro from the other one here. Oh, I might be stuck. Okay, I managed to jump out. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, let's get away from this guy. And uh, we killed it, by the way. You can see there. Sorry about that. Got a little stuck there. Got a little worried because we're getting close to that one there. So let's get this uh, lady here back on a cannon. And it looks like we may have gotten some aggro of that guy. So I'm just going to speed up. Maybe. Is he coming after us? I do want to kill it, but just not yet. So now, if you look, so we're going to do, what did I say? We need two more crew, so we need a total of five. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. So you're going to need four levels to get your five crew members. Okay, so I spawned in two more crew. We got uh, all of our cannons full, and we're going to go after this red ship. I'm going to kill this red ship with a sloop. So we're going to use the same tactic that we used before. We're going to uh, make sure we are sailing with the wind or as much wind as we have. I'm going to pretty much sail into this guy like I'm about to broadside him. Then I'm going to pull a sharp turn away from him. Allow the cannons to fire and then just pace it. Now this guy's going to hit a lot harder. As you can see, we took a bit of damage from that last one, but we're still, we're still good. We're perfectly fine. I'm going to see if I can take this one and manage to not have to do any repairs while doing it hopefully we won't sink so let's just max out our sails here then uh we're gonna sail right up to him might just try to sail past it let's go ahead and we should be close enough to target it let's adjust our sails a little bit and i think i'm going to sail i'm gonna sail behind us if he sails behind us that's even better oh it looks like he may already have some damage but that's fine so level 27 you can see we took a couple of hits there. That's fine. Okay, so we got him. He's kiting now, so we're good. So now we're going to make sure we have as much wind as possible. And... Okay, he's missing. So now we're going to have to adjust a little bit this way. Slow down just a bit. Make sure that it's marked. Make sure they're going to shoot. Oh, we sped up really fast. We need to let him get caught up little bit to us wait wait to see where it's going to fire need to turn just a little bit which sucks because i don't want to turn into these up here but we may we may have to sail past them so now we're just going to watch under our sails adjust our speed a little bit okay we're still out of range it's like we're we're tailing it we're getting it to tail us pretty good right here they're just firing away at it i'm not sure how much damage we're doing to it at the moment sailing right into a mess though might have to slow down just a little bit. Now, this is going to take some practice, probably. I mean, it took me a couple of ships to get it. I don't know if that one's going to get angry. I may have to turn away. All right, let's turn a little bit and see if we can sail away from those and continue to kite this one. Hopefully, it will sail back behind us. If this happens to you, don't worry. Kick your sails back into full speed. And he should fall in behind you. Check the front of us. Make sure we're all right. We're still not taking much damage at all. We're still doing all right. So uh, let's adjust to the right just a little bit here. Slow back down. I'm going to slow down a lot. I want him to get caught up. I'm going to remark him to make sure that my AI is focused. Probably don't have to keep remarking, but I like to do it just to make sure my AI stays. Because you know these games, they're janky. Who knows what your AI is doing? Okay, I'm going to try to line up just a little bit more. Move to the, the right just a little bit. Focus to the right just a little bit more. Looks like they can't quite hit. Oh, there they go. Now they're shooting. Now they're shooting. Let's slow down just a tad bit. Let them get a little bit closer. I really want them to just be landing all of those. Okay, we got, looks like we got two out of the three. Slow down a little bit more. 
it just me or is this guy seem really slow? Okay, we got a couple of hits there. I don't know if those cannonballs are going to hit us. Let's see how close they are. Okay, I think we've completely outranged him right now. Keep an eye on those, see how close they get. I don't want them to get too close. Let's speed up just a little. Yeah, I think we're good right here. So now we're just going to kind of taxi along and uh, continue to pummel it. It's a patience game. Remember, you only have three cannons, but it doesn't matter what level they are. You can sink them with these three cannons using this method. All right, that's getting a little too close for comfort. I'm going to speed back up. We'll speed back up a lot, and then slow back down. When you when the cannonballs get too close, you only need to speed up for just a minute. You're going to gain a lot of speed. As you can see, we're already starting to lose him. Let's slow way back down. I want to make sure I'm hitting him with as many of my cannonballs as possible so that this doesn't take as long as it needs to. Or I say, should say it doesn't take too long. We want it to be as short as possible is what I'm trying to say. I'm having problems talking today. Struggle is real. All right, we're sailing right into this other one, but I think... I think if we just slow way down, we make sure we land these next couple of shots, we'll have this guy. That should do it. There it is. So 27 with a sloop. You saw it right there. Did it. Barely took any damage at all. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, let me know all that good stuff. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.